Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Yes! It's your boy, the Crypto Lifestyle. The lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. And guys, before I go on with this content on Cork Chain, I would really appreciate if you could smash those like buttons, subscribe, share, like, comment, all that good stuff, man. YouTube takes a lot of time out of my day, and I appreciate you taking the time of your day to watch my videos anyways guys so let's get on with the content this video is about the highly anticipated cork chain look guys i have actually come across this ico about three weeks ago but i didn't want to make a video on something that i don't have all the information on so all the token economics all of that information wasn't released so why am i going to make an opinion on something or a review on something when i don't have important information and there's there are a lot of videos on cork chain on youtube right now but in my opinion I don't want to go as far as uh, by saying those videos are unwarranted, but I mean, how are you going to make a video on something when you don't have the full details on the token economics? It makes no sense to me, and if it makes no sense, it makes no dollars. So let's go on with this video, guys. Right off the bat, I'm just going to talk about the, the, the just the basic information, okay? So right here, we got a fundraising goal or a hard cap of $20 million. So that is very, very, that's a very good sign. I love blockchain infrastructure especially high performance blockchain coins or ICOs rather that are starting a hard cap at 20 million because they enter the markets very undervalued and if you have a small market cap and you're you're new entering into the markets um you could only grow you, you know what i mean the smaller the market cap the more likelihood you're going to get a, a better roi because it's just going to grow and grow you know if these guys are entering the market at a 50 million market cap that means i gotta get i gotta reach another 50 million to go 2x in this case it's 20 million to another 20 million is 2x another 20 million is 3x another so on and so forth right so the scalability in terms of a uh, return on investment is far more profitable okay guys so that's the hard cap now i have to admit i have to admit this right here it's like a dagger in my heart available for token sale 20 percent like guys that is just crazy i don't want to talk bad about them but i love to get into icos where the token sale is 60 percent these guys are only giving us 20 percent okay like as i said before if you guys watch those other shows like shark tank and all that if you offer someone 20 percent of the company for you know 20 million dollars you might get laughed at and i know we don't get part of the company we only get tokens i get that i'm not saying that i'm just trying to give you a reference point right 20 percent, man i don't know we'll get back to that but let's check out the new stuff so they have announced this here guys this is very important so announcement on token sale whitelist and kyc plan so the reason why I didn't make a video is because I was waiting on to see how much the bonus was in the private sale, but not only that, how much overall tokens were distributed within the private sale. So let's get right to that. So thank you all for your interest in Quark Chain and your patience with our team. We have been working hard to ensure a smooth and fair ICO process throughout the coming weeks. During the entire process, we will be actively updating our announcements and future details. Note, there is and will be no pre-seal. All mentionings of pre-seal are likely a misuse of private seal. Be aware of scammers. Two, we will not cancel the public seal. Thank God. When we see these like highly antici anticipated and publicly, um, you know, it has a lot of publicity and overly hyped ICOs, what happens is, especially when Ian Shalina is on it, what happens is these guys get into the private seal or the pre seal, well, rather the private seal, and then they just cancel out pre seal and crowd seal because I call it them selling their souls to the private investors, okay? They pretty much would just sell it all in the private sale and cancel the, uh, the public sale. But hey, Quark Chain is not doing that. So I salute you. Let's move forward here. So number three, we will not run a Dutch auction. We will not promote unnecessary social media proof of care competition. We will not encourage a gas war situation. Thank you so damn much. Dutch auction is so damn whack. And I believe Go Network did that, and their name just got tarnished. Nobody, like, that was the most hyped ICO to start this year. 
the Go Network. Okay, Ian Shalina once again was behind that one. He was he was an advisor for that one, right? Um, advisors to me is nothing more than a guy that says, you know, a company asks you, hey, do you mind if we use your influential image and name to put on our product so we could sell more? That's all it is, okay? Uh, that's that's the definition of an advisor when it comes to an ICO. Um, yeah, so these guys aren't doing Dutch auction. That's pretty cool. I love that. They're staying level-headed and um, they're, they're trying to make sure even the, you know, um, the average guy could get into this, right? Not just like heavy hitters. So here we go. Token sale, guys. Very, very important. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I know the text is very small, so you cannot see that. So this is the most important part of this, this um, announcement here. So let us see what they say. The, the total supply is 10 billion core coins. The private sale, $16 million was raised in the private sale, okay? At a bonus of 25%. So if you are a private investor, one Ethereum will get you 39,460 core coins, okay? That's with the 25% bonus. Now, if you're someone like me, okay, you're gonna be in the public sale, um, that's $4 million will be raised in the public sale and one Ethereum would give us 31,533. But listen to this. Lockup time for private sale investors. 10% release each month for the first four months. So for the first four months, every month they will get 10% of what they invested, okay? And then after the four months, 20% released each month for the next three months. The tokens is available at the end of each month. 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20. Token distribution, 20% 20, um, 20 token sale lockup for private sale, no lockup for public sale. Awesome, 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 awesome. 15% team lockup for two years, 15% foundation lockup two years, 5% advisor lockup. Guys, this is what I don't understand. What the heck are they talking about mining? 45% mining, community and marketing. Mining prone to minor future inflation possibly I, I don't understand that because if they're sharding if they're using shard like sharding technology which is going to give them this advanced transact like fast transactions per second right they're talking about millions per second similar to credits um what the hell are they doing with mining because none of these new blockchains are mining using proof of work maybe someone can explain that to me i probably would ask the admin in the telegram chat okay guys let's check out this part the most important part so if one ethereum gives these private investors i mean like a 25 percent bonus that isn't that bad okay you know man where do i begin here okay so let's say the ico started today one ethereum gave them um 39 i'm trying to calculate you know, we don't want private investors dumping on this. So if the bonus was something ridiculous, right? Say like 60% bonus, like a 10x for them could, could literally be like a 30x for us. And these guys, sorry, yeah, no, a 30x for them could be like a 10x for us. And they could dump, you know, a 20x when it's 5x for us, right? But this works out to be not too bad, okay? I did the math, but I'll do it live with you guys right now. So 39,416 divided by F value right now. If the IC was to start right now, F is at 6, let's just say 680. Um, so 16 million, I already did some math there. So, sorry guys. So we will do it like this, 16 million out of 20 million hard cap. So we'll go 16 divided by 20 million, because 60 million was raised in the ICO. We want to know what's the overall distribution of the coins within the private sale, right? So um, times 100. So that's 80% of the coins, okay guys, are being sold in the private sale, okay? 80% are being sold at the private sale at 25% bonus. So we are going to divide the tokens by the amount of ETH. Or sorry, the amount of ETH divided by the tokens to find out the price. So let's do that. That was, um, blah, 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 blah. so ETH is 680 divided by the private sale was 39,416 coins it would be getting. So that works out to a price of, um, let's say, just over one and a half cents, right? So it's... Uh, it's 0 0.017 cents, so just over one and a half cents is what the private sale price would be. And let's just take a quick glance back at this. We are getting it added one ETH at 31,533. So let us do that. 31,533. 
So the difference is we're getting it at just just uh, over two cents. So 0 0.021 cents. So 0 0.021 cents. Okay, and let's check out one last thing. So for them to get their 10x, okay, that would be obviously so 0 0.017. It's, it's basic math times 10. Okay, so at 17 cents will be their 10x, and for us it will be 21 cents. Friends, that's nothing at all, and especially when you put into the fact that they're going to get these tokens released in increments. Um, I believe, what was it, 10% 10, 10 each month for the first four months, and then 20% thereafter, monthly? Yeah, so the risk of it, this being dumped on us, is very, very, very low. So that's cool, guys. So, whitelisting and KYC timeline. The KYC process will start next Monday, okay? So that is right here, um, May 7th, okay? 2018 at 12.01 a.m. PST time and will last for two weeks. So this KYC will last for two weeks. You got two weeks to get your uh, documents uploaded and um, sent off to them. Um, you have to join either English Telegram group or the Chinese Telegram group to be able to participate into the KYC. Guys, Quarkchain is definitely going about their KYC and their entire ICO a, a lot more different. They're trying to be fair. They're trying to get make sure everyone gets um, tokens, which is a good thing. Normally, it's a rat race and, you know, the people... People who only put in like say half an ETH or well one ETH or two ETH, they don't really um, have a chance to get in. So they're trying to help out everybody. As they say here, so due to the growing interest in our project and limited token supply during the public sale, we will be using a problem ooh, problematic approach to be as fair as mathematically possible. There are three main aspects we will take into consideration, in particular, um, detailed of calculation method will be shared later a timestamp of telegram join the cutoff time This is very important guys. The cutoff time is May 5th at 1159 Well, pretty much 12 a.m. PST time the earlier you join the higher the score you will get for this section Anytime after the 5th of May of uh, at 12 midnight Will not be considered as early supporters. So the cutoff time is then May 5th at midnight if you you try to um, submit sorry if you try to if you join the K, uh, not the KYC if you join the telegram group after that that's it you're cut off okay so they're doing it by timestamp and there is a score the earlier you join their telegram group um, you have more privileges or you get more tokens something like that we'll get to that just now so where are we here Let's consider supporters so so a join the telegram group okay before the fifth Okay, B, your understanding of the project. C, your contributions to the project. Although we appreciate our community following us on Medium, Twitter, Reddit, and other platforms, we do not promote unnecessary social media proof of care competition. Thank God. That is so gay. Um, I mean, although I just do it from, just because I love crypto, I make YouTube videos, but come on, don't force people to do that crap. Um... Anyways, number four, personal cap, we will be using a bottom-up tire style to be as fair as possible and ensure everyone who got whitelisted is able to contribute. Depending on our whitelist KYC speed, we will peg ETH price on a certain date that will give us a rough number of Ethereum to be collected. Then we will conduct the process as follows. So two, for example, 8,000 ETH with 2,000 whitelisted participants, A. First 12 hours, a maximum contribution, x eth where x equals 8,000 by 4, 2,000 equals 1 f. So I think, and anybody out there, I mean like I'm new to this structure, right? Um, I haven't really seen this in the, in the ICO world before, but it is what it is. So I am guessing they're saying for the first 12 hours... Um, in the crowd sale, we could contribute one Ethereum, and then the next eight hours, a maximum contribution is at two Ethereums or two times your first contribution within the first 12 hours. 
Okay, we'll have to get this cleared up in the chat. So see, after those eight hours, the following four hours, a contribution of four X ETH. I'm guessing four Ethereum's. Okay, the next two hours after those four hours will be eight F and then sixteen F after that for the next hour. This ensures public sale will last at least twenty four hours in order to accommodate um, investors in all time zones. That's pretty cool. I like that. I I do like that. Look, I mean. The only thing that bothers me about this ICO is this 20% available for token sale. Maybe that kind of ties in with this aspect over here when they talk about 45% for mining. I don't know what the hell that means. But overall, guys, this is a solid ICO. Look, I know I didn't go over the technology with sharding and all that stuff and the, million, uh, the millions of uh, transactions per seconds. That's besides the point. It was really focused on the token economics and if this ICO works out with the numbers, and look, the numbers make sense. And if it makes sense, it's going to make us dollars. Um, I like this ICO. I will be contributing. This could give us a nice ROI. And that's why we're in cryptocurrency to make that money. It's your boy, the Crypto Lifestyle, coming back at you once again, giving you the latest of the latest. And hopefully, the latest of the greatest. So there ain't really much left to say, guys. Other than, until the next video, you're on your own. Later. Wait.